Hello, parents, teachers, and students, and welcome to Start Here, an art exhibition celebrating work from high schools and middle schools in Rochester and the Finger Lakes region. This exhibition used to be the Scholastic Arts exhibition, but has changed over the years and eventually became the show we have here today. The reason I named this exhibition Start Here is because many of the artists exhibiting here are going through a transition in their lives. They probably feel like they're coming to the end of a significant part of their lives. And it's true. A lot of changes happen after high school, uh, but you're not at the end of the path. You're very much still just starting your journey towards, adult, towards adulthood, towards, uh, towards a career, and uh, you're likely going to be continuing your academic pursuits. Uh, it's a really exciting place to be, and I encourage you to take time to appreciate where you are and the possibilities unfolding before you. Normally, we would be giving you the awards in person on the RIT campus during a proper award ceremony. Due to COVID-19, we are forced once again to present these awards virtually. Hopefully soon we can return to a normal reception and award ceremony. One last note before we begin the awards, the last name of the recipients have been hidden for privacy purposes. This is a legal issue specifically related to the internet and the fact that most award winners are minors. Uh, this will be hosted on an RIT official website, so we have to comply uh, with what they tell us to do, and they're telling us to use last initials. Uh, so with that in mind, the student's full name is displayed in Bevere Gallery uh, and on the certificate that you will receive shortly after the show comes down. I hope you still feel uh, represented and appreciated by uh, the, this award presentation. You also receive a gift card along with the certificate. Uh, I believe it's uh, for Barnes and Noble. Uh, a pro tip, if you go to the Barnes and Noble here at RIT on Jefferson Road, you can buy art supplies. Uh, it's actually where most of the students in the College of Art and Design buy their art supplies for their classes. So there's some pretty high quality stuff. Um, it's, it's not dissimilar to what you would find in, in Michael's or, or someplace like that. Some, some of it's even a little better. Um, so in case you're in the area and you wanna use your gift card for art. I also wanna mention our summer programs for high school students and, and K-12 teachers. Uh, I'll go into more detail at the end of the presentation, but I want you to be aware that there are opportunities for you here this summer. Uh, I now want to introduce the Dean of the College of Art and Design, Todd Jokel, to give the first award, the Dean's Award. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Shane, for all of your work. Uh, and I'm going to offer a welcome to our families and particularly the parents and students. I'm sorry, the parents and teachers, students, artists, uh, we'll come to you in just a moment. I do have a couple of remarks I'd like to make uh, prior to getting to the announcement of the Dean's Award. Um, Speaking to the, the parents and also uh, the teachers, I think having a child or a student who is artistically in design inclined can sometimes be a daunting prospect. Um, having gone through that process myself, and I, you, know, uh, you care about your child deeply, you care about the student deeply, and you think about what lies ahead for the future. Uh, last year, I talked at length about how the world has changed, uh, and I was actually talking about that from, from a, uh, an employment perspective. Um, and I'm proud to say that that is still the case. I mean, it's a very, very high um, opportunity rate for employment uh, uh, with, for creative minds. It's at a premium right now uh, and perhaps more than ever. And it looks like it's going to continue that way. Uh, this year, though, I actually want to focus on what has remained the same. Uh, even though the pandemic has interrupted your in-studio time and instruction, uh, you've continued, these are the, the student artists and the, the teachers, of course, to pursue your art, design, film, craft, and creative endeavors. Uh, the work you've, you've submitted that's on display here at RIT's Bevere Gallery is truly astounding. So congratulations and thank you. The perseverance to continue those creative passions uh, through, through all these challenges is just remarkable and inspiring. You, you are amazing. So thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to uh, share a little bit about our college. Uh, the College of Art and Design students uh, continue to do work, amazing work as well. Um, 
going to that that notion of sort of employability and, and the success of, of students uh, from RIT and the College of Art and Design. Uh, for our undergraduates, 90% of our undergrads and 97% of our graduate students have positive outcome rates, which is jargon for, they have great jobs six months after they graduate, uh, uh, typically in, in their fields of study. I think these are really amazing numbers and, and point not only to uh, some of the, the wonderful things that happen uh, with, our, with our faculty and our students in the College of Art and Design, but the areas of, of creativity maybe more broadly. Uh, we have amazing students and graduates in these amazing programs. And not to mention uh, some pretty snazzy faculty and programs in, in the School of Arts, School for American Crafts, Photography, Design, and Film and Animation. And really, I think all this is to say to the parents and the future artists and designers out there to be bold. Uh, success is in your future. Uh, and parents continue to be supportive because expressing oneself through the fields of art, design, craft, film, and animation takes courage and bravery. And no doubt, the student artists who are uh, on display here at Bevere and also just taking engaging in those practices more broadly are brave and courageous. Uh, I want to thank Shane for, for all the work that you've done here. I want to thank all of the uh, school teachers who have participated in this and, and uh, shepherded students along the way. Uh, there's more than 100 artists and more than 35 school districts represented in this year's exhibition. And we're just really, really excited. We hope that you get a chance to come by and take a look at the Bevere Gallery. So with that, I'll, I'll move on to the, the Dean's Award, um, and then we'll move on to the uh, other schools uh, and, and hear uh, the remarkable students that they're recognizing. Uh, this year, the Dean's Award goes to Sophie W. Uh, Sophie's uh, really beautiful copper and silver capsule uh, really drew my attention uh, for its intricate detail work and dexterity in the craftsmanship. Also, one of the, the wonderful elements in the College of Art and Design and RIT overall is our um, combination of technology, the arts, and design. And I was really impressed by the ways in which it appears uh, that uh, Sophie utilized uh, a technology of maybe laser cutting or other fabrication, digital fabrication processes uh, to develop this, this piece of, of uh, uh, metals and jewelry. So Sophie, congratulations. Very, very excited. I should note Sophie is a junior at Penfield uh, and the teacher uh, for Sophie is Anna Sprague. So thank you very much. Congratulations. I'll now pass it over to School of Design Director, Peter Byrne. Peter? Thanks, Todd. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. And um, my name, as Todd mentioned, is uh, Peter Byrne. I'm the director of the School of Design. Uh, the first award is the Vignelli Award, which goes to Marcus A. for City Boy. Congratulations, Marcus. The next School Design Award is the Graphic Design Award, and the recipient is Ivy L for the Dreamer. Congratulations, Ivy. The next award is our Industrial Design Award, and the recipient is Adriana T for Saturday Day Caterpillar. Congratulations, Adriana. The Interior Design Award goes to Quinn C for Crossover. Congratulations, Quinn. The 3D Digital Design Award recipient is Ashlyn K for Hard Strings. Congratulations, Ashlyn. And our Young Designer Award for grades six, seven, and eight, the recipient is Kaya V for Under the Earth. Congratulations, Kaya. Our last award is the School Design and Media Award and the recipient is Sophia D. for Ginkgo. Congratulations, Sophia. I'd now like to introduce School Director Elizabeth Cornfield, Director of School of Art and School for American Crafts. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you, Peter. I just wanna start off by saying um, congratulations to all the exhibiting student artists. It is a fantastic, exhibition and congratulations to all of you and to your teachers. Um, the School of Art and School for American Crafts Awards. Um, the first award is the Fine Art Studio Award for 2D that goes to Olivia S um, in grade 12 for the painting Fragile. The School of Art Fine Art Studio Award for 3D goes to Vivian Z grade 10 for an untitled sculpture. 
The Dimensional Illustration Award goes to Gray S, grade eight, um, for the sculpture titled Alien Fruit. The Illustration Award 2D goes to Emily P, grade 12, for the piece entitled Wrapped Fox. The Medical Illustration Award for 2D goes to Walter E, grade 11, for an untitled colored pencil piece. The Medical Illustration Award 3D goes to Francesca SB, grade 11, for a ceramic piece entitled Growth and Decay. The Art Education Award for 2D goes to Lauren MC, grade eight, for the painting titled Festa Junina. The Art Education Award 3D goes Mad Madeline H, grade 11, for a ceramic piece and um, also utilizing twine entitled Wishing Well. The Young Artist Award um, goes to Derek H, grade six, for a print entitled King Moth. The Robert Heishman Award, which is an award titled for a longtime professor in the School of Art that was a painting professor and foundations professor goes to Madison H grade 12 for um, an oil stick piece titled Untitled. The Luvon Shepherd Watercolor Award, which is an award for one of our um, incredible professors that's still here teaching at RIT after many, many years, LaVon Shepard. Um, this goes to Ava S for a painting titled Bewildered. The School for American Crafts uh, Ceramic Award for Pottery goes to Stephen S grade 12 for a ceramic piece called Teapot. The Ceramics Award for Sculpture goes to Gordon F grade 12 for a ceramic piece um, titled Untitled. The American Craft Studio Award goes to Tyler SW, grade 11, for the um, piece made out of copper, silver, semi-precious stone with patina called Container with Fitted Lid Under the Stars. And the School for American Crafts Metal and Jewelry Design Award goes to Jenna B for a piece entitled Mermaid Neck, Neck Piece. And Jenna is in grade 12. Thank you all very much, congratulations. And I wanna introduce Shanti Takur, the director for the School of Film and Animation. Thanks, Elizabeth. Hi everyone, I'm Shanti Takur. I'm the director for the School of Film and Animation. And we have two awards to hand out today. The first is the Animation Award. This goes to Lexi C for her work called Growth. She's in grade 12 and her work showed a command of technique as well as an imaginative image of hope. Congratulations, Lexi. The second is the Visual Storytelling Award. And this goes to Jonathan R for his film Ditto. He's in grade 12, and we found that his film showed an interesting use of film noir and surrealism with a great use of lighting. Congratulations, Jonathan. Thank you everyone for submitting your wonderful work and congratulations again to the winners. Next up, I'd like to introduce Christy Sison, School Director for the School of Photographic Arts and Sciences. Thank you, Shanti. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome and congratulations. I'd like to echo my colleague sentiment with uh, just being blown away by the, the level of work that everyone submitted. This was not easy um, for us to sort of select. And I, again, want to express my congratulations to all for just putting on and for just putting on an outstanding show of creativity and, and flexibility. And it was just absolutely an astonishing show to see. The first award, um, each of our awards are, are sort of consistent with the individual areas in the School of Photographic Arts and Sciences. And so the first award is for fine art photography. And that award goes to Lucy R for her piece entitled Rochester. Congratulations, Lucy. The next award is uh, from our Advertising Photography Award, uh, and that award goes to Bryant D uh, for Staggering Glint of Perception. Congratulations, Bryant. 
Our next award is the Photojournalism Award. And that award goes to Janice W.H. for her photograph entitled Beauty. Congratulations to Janice. Our next award is for Visual Media. And that award goes to Julianus E. for the piece entitled Into a New Reality. Congratulations to Julianus. Our final award for Photographic Sciences goes to Haley L. for the piece entitled Carousel. Congratulations to all the students, the teachers, and again, all the participants for an outstanding show. I'm gonna turn it back over to Shane for some additional awards. Shane? Thank you, Christy. I'm gonna give the final award, the Bevere Gallery Award. Um, the Bevere Gallery Award goes to Emma S for Macaroons. Uh, Emma is in grade nine, and I had a, a very tough time choosing an award, even after all of the faculty had, had, had picked their winners. Uh, I still, there were still so many. If I could choose 20 uh, honorable mentions, I would. Uh, there were just so many to choose from. I finally landed on this one partly because I was I was hungry, but also because it's just beautifully uh, rendered. It really is a, for a, a ninth grader, especially. I think it's so sophisticated and so beautifully drawn. Um, congratulations, Emma, and congratulations to all of the award winners. That concludes the awards, but I want to quickly talk about our summer programs at RIT. Regardless of where your academic journey takes you, and honestly, we'll be heartbroken if you don't come to RIT, uh, but even if you go to another college, I want to remind you of the resources you have here at RIT while you're a high school student. Our summer programs will give you an advantage over other college applicants. We help students prepare their portfolios for college admissions. So you have this resource in your backyard right now, uh, you have award-winning professionals ready to help you out. So at the very least, take a look at the information that is available to you. Uh, there should be some sort of link on the website uh, that you're watching this, uh, this video through. Um, I wanna thank my staff for helping me install the exhibition. And you have another day or two to see the work in person on campus. So please swing by Bevere Gallery. Uh, also, I want to thank the MST program for everything they do to assist us. The MST program is a Master's of Science in Teaching program that's K-12 art teachers, basically. It's a graduate program. Many teachers who submitted work this year uh, have gone through this, the MST program here at RIT. In fact, some of them were high school students that had work in the Scholastics show uh, and then went on through our MST program and now are contributing as, as teachers. So I really like that, that relationship we have um, between the MST program and the local uh, art teachers. Uh, and thank you to the parents and teachers for supporting these young artists and a big congratulations to all of the artists in the exhibition. Uh, whether you won an award or not, you were selected to participate and you should be proud of the high quality of the work you produced this year. Check out future exhibitions in our galleries. Uh, we, we have several coming up and they are open to the public. Uh, keep an eye on those summer programs and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.